Okay, Louis from Freak Tab just created a uh, uh, firmware update for the uh, Mini M8S2, and this is an Oreo. So, a uh, in a zip file that you go and download off his website, it includes the uh, USB burning tool version 2.12 and the uh, software all in one. So it's all in that one zip package. So I downloaded it, uh, connected up my box, and one of my other videos shows you how to do that. Now I'm using my X9, which is a same as a Mini M8 S2 but it's just by a different name. So anyway, that's the one I've got. Uh, make sure you're plugged into the correct port for this box. And in this case, it's uh, next to the HDMI port. And I had to depress that little hole, wherever it's at, right there, and plug the other end into my computer. Now these boxes are very easy to get into the uh, uh, burning, burning mode. So now my Miku boxes, they're a pain in the butt because I have to use my powered uh, USB hub because for whatever reason those Miku boxes need more power to get into the uh, uh, recovery menu, I guess you want to call that. But anyway, it's almost done, so as soon as it gets done, I will take it over and put it on my TV and see what it looks like. But again, this is a, a mod by uh, Louis, who's, he's been absent for a while from FreakTab, but he's one of the uh, uh, one of the first original uh, supporters of Freak Tab, and he's added a lot of different uh, uh, firmwares to the site. So, anyway, we'll see how, how it works on Oreo on this box. Okay, it is almost done burning to the uh, internal RAM of this box. As you see, it's taken five, almost five, a little over five and a half minutes which is quite long compared to uh, most of the firmware that goes on this box. Normally it only takes them about three minutes to burn it. So this must be a big program. So, all right, it's all done. I'll disconnect it, take it and put it on the TV. Okay, this is the box. Here's my ethernet cable, power cable, HDMI. Uh, this is my uh, Linux disk there. So when I get it done, I I dual boot Linux and Android, so uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and connect it up and turn it on. Okay, I plugged it in. It's starting to reboot by Louie, Android by Louie. Oh, nice uh, boot up screen. But like I say, it took over five and a half minutes for it to install on that memory, so I guess it's not taking too long. I'm just trying to find a remote for it right now. I've got too many boxes and too many, too many remotes just trying to figure out which one's which. But I think I've got it. So it's still booting. I guess we get the opportunity to watch me in the reflection of the TV. But anyway, I found my remote and I plugged in my other power strip so I've got some other more remotes that I'll be using. You can see them in my uh, reflection of what I've got. So, yeah, it's still booting up. I figured it would because five and a half minutes to burn to the memory is a big program. So. We'll find out. But again, this is a Oreo, a Oreo port, uh, Android 8.1, 8.0 by Louie. So it should be almost done. Hopefully. All right, maybe I'll go ahead and pause it until it gets done.
Okay, it was hung up in that loading screen going round and round. So I pulled the power on the box, plugged it back in, and voila, now that we're at this screen. So, uh, would you like to review it? All right, let's see if our remote works. Sure, why not? Updates, mini. Let's see what we got. All right, now I'm going to plug in my other devices. This here is all my remotes. I'll plug it into my box. Okay, now, hopefully my air mouse and other mouse will work. Yeah, they do. Whoa, nice big cursor. Okay, let's see. Does that work? Whoa. Sign in. Check your info. All right, let me go ahead and log into this. Okay, I logged into um, Chrome browser. Continue. Got it. Whoa. Bookmarks. Okay, hasn't loaded up yet. It will. Whoa. There they are. There they are. Awesome. Okay, now let's go home. Use the remote, the home button. Okay, the stock remote works. Now, let's see. Where are we? Oh. Chrome, clock, file browser, settings, play store. Let's see what we got. Okay, now I'm going to have to log in. Whoa! It's already logged in because I logged, when I logged into Chrome, it logged into this. Update all. Pending, then a little pending. Okay, let's go back to home. Uh, let's see. Click that little button there. Comes back to here. Super SU, so that must mean it's probably uh, rooted. Uh, where is settings? There we go. Settings. Display. Screen resolution. Now, we want to take a chance, uh, I'm plugged into 4K TV monitor, there we are, 4K. Now, do I want to test it or not? Okay, so we are on 4K. Okay, now I'm using my, okay, let's go back to the settings again. Uh, HDMI, I don't use that, I'm going to turn that off. Because I don't use that. I don't even know what it is, to be honest with you. Sound, uh, Dolby Sounds, I don't know what that means. Uh, digital Sounds, HDMI RAW. Okay, got that. DTS sounds, I have no idea what that means. Uh, we'll look at settings again. Uh, gray, Bluetooth, remote, more settings. Everything's looking good. Everything's looking very good. Connected devices, Bluetooth. Hmm. Better display, sound.
system languages, date and time, let's see, select time zone. Where's Eastern? There's Central. There is Eastern. Okay, we'll select Eastern. Oh, I don't want that. Okay, looking good, looking good. Time back up, system update, reset, about. Now let's see what it says about. Ready, 8.0, kernel version, March 13th, Tuesday. Whoa, that's two days ago. Louie, you're doing great. All right, everything seems to be working. Uh, wallpapers, Chrome, I'll have to add some more stuff, so I will go ahead and play with this, but I just want to give you a brief overview, and everything is looking good. Now, let's see if these Play Store, let's see if they updated. Yep, yep, they updated. Uh, installed. Library. Whoa. Turn that view. Let's see if it sees my security cameras. We'll find out. Open. Oh, I'm not showing my network. Oh, that one don't work on there. That was the wrong one. This is the one. I've got a couple of Trinidad IP cameras. Only one is connected to my network right now, so let me see if it works. Open. Turn the view. Uh, let's do a scan, maybe. Oh, there it is. It. Well, it showed up a minute ago. Oh, well, I won't play with it, but anyway, uh, it shows up. And I just have to figure out, I don't usually use that program. Alright, everything seems to be working, so I'll go ahead and pop this on YouTube and so people can see what it looks like. So it was very easy to install. It only took a couple of minutes, well it took five minutes to burn, but it only took about a couple minutes to uh, connect the box to my computer. So, Alright, thank you. Okay, I went ahead and started adding some more uh, apps, so I'll just show you. So I just did a search for Google, and I added Gmail, blah, 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 some of the stuff. Okay, now I'm going to search for, let's see, let's do Cody. K-O-D-I. I'm going to do a search for HD Home Run. HD
the last one to crash. Okay, an HD home run. That's my over the air uh, TV reception. I'm using an antenna on the roof. Uh, let's see what happens here. Okay. Okay, that works. All right, let's go back to home. Whoa, okay, so we got a lot of stuff. Cody? Yep, latest version of Cody. Let me see, what else can I add? Okay, I got my maps, got my contacts, got my calendar. And why did it go black? Oh, back to Cody. All right, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. Exit. Now, now, right now I'm using just a regular Bluetooth mouse like you'd use on a computer. Okay, um, what else can I add? I guess I can drop some of these down here. Let me see. No, I guess not. At least not right now. I don't know how to do that. Hmm. What else can I add? There's my Gmail. I guess we don't need to look at that. YouTube. I'll say that'll play in 4K. YouTube, let's find a 4K one. There it is. There is a 4K one. Now let's see if it plays in 4K. With type 2 diabetes, a lower A1C is a lot about choices. Now the question is, how do I tell if it's in 4K? Because this one doesn't have the thing for nerves that I can see. So I don't know if it's 4K or not, but what I can say is the graphics is just absolutely fantastic, so I'm not sure how to tell if it's in 4K. But anyway, that's just what I wanted to do, give you a brief overview of what this thing can do, capable of doing. Um, figure out how to stop it. All right. That's enough. I just want to show you. So thank you.